forget to hit that like button and please follow George all about the Philippines. Thank you. Okay, I'm out here outside of uh, T-Bax in Angeles City today. Uh, show you also across the street, they got a German schnitzel house. So I just wanted to show that they're not open yet, but uh, T-Bax is always open. So I'm going to go in here and have some breakfast. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. It's the front of uh, T-Bax here. Angelic Premier Residences, T-Bax and Cabanas. So that's kind of where I'm at. This is the outside area here, outside of T-Bax, a German restaurant over there. But that's kind of where I'm at this morning. We'll go eat some chow. Good afternoon. Uh, bringing you some footage from Angeles City today. Uh, went up to T-Bax, had a nice breakfast uh, from the Subic Bay area. Takes less than an hour on most days. Uh, the SE Tex is never busy. Uh, so that's a, just a quick ride, easy ride. Uh, not bad at all. And then uh, go through Clark. When you come out of Clark, it's only like three or four minutes over to uh, T-Bax, and that's where I went today. Uh, been up there before. I've even done a video there before. Um, I just wanted to go up, do something different today. So I went there, had a nice breakfast. Uh, very enjoyable experience. The food was good. Had an omelet, uh, hash brown, and toast, and coffee. Uh, they don't charge for coffee normally with the meal, and it's unlimited, so you really can't beat that. Coffee's good. Uh, sports on the TV, about anything that's on you can request. Uh, they were playing uh, college football bowls live uh, this morning. They have most of the major sports events, if not all of them, and uh, just good. The service is good. Uh, the ladies working there, the staff are great. Uh, like I said, they give outstanding service. Uh, they got a pool table, and it's it's nice. It's, uh, you sit around the bar and uh, nice TVs. There's like three or f uh, on each side, big TVs, uh, so they can play. I know when I left, they were uh, starting to show. I think it was uh, uh, the UNLV uh, game that that was on. Uh, and they had uh, a Texas State game on as well that had been on for a while. Uh, but they'll show most of the games there. Uh, they're open 24-7, so that's a good thing. Um, but really an enjoyable experience. When you get up to Angeles, you can Google. I'll put the address in the comments in the description here of this video and give you that. But uh, you just Google it. Uh, or what and it'll bring up and just hit on directions take you right there uh, I was going to go to the Drake Hotel and go to Poppy's they have great uh, biscuits and gravy sausage gravy and uh, I just decided I wanted to go and watch some sports more there and so I like tea back so I just went over there and I'll probably go up there more frequently but if you get a chance uh, go buy tea backs highly recommend it 
Um, and then I checked some other stuff in Angeles, uh, down by the old Orchid Inn behind Walking Street. Uh, I knew, I guess it's a go-go club, and they've closed some more. But most of the stuff hadn't changed. Uh, I saw a couple places for lease uh, in the area. Uh, and then I, I didn't really make it on to Walking Street. Uh, but uh, it was just a uh, basically a trip I went out there to have breakfast checked out some of the area also I want to point out that uh, across the street from T-Bax uh, they have a German restaurant it opens at 5 I haven't been there but if I do I'll bring that to you and tell you how it is um, and then where T-Bax is at they have uh, residences there you can uh, short time long time if you're just in the area you can rent them out on vacation or I think they have long stay as well but uh, they said they do quite well with with that and then people come down they can eat have drinks uh, it's tucked back in a residential area which is nice so you don't have all the like if you went to Phillies or somewhere all the commotion uh, around walking streets so this is more laid back so I really enjoy it uh, over there and uh, the only other thing I want to talk about is things going on at Harbor Point on SBMA, Subic Bay, is uh, they're getting ready to open up a Texas Roadhouse, Italiani's, Italian restaurant, and then they got, uh, I think I saw Bread Talk, a Top of King, I want to say, and then a couple other stores, I got Converse coming and Skechers, uh, so all these are coming probably in 2024, but I know they post it on their Facebook page, uh, Harbor Point has. And they've already started uh, showing where they're going to be in the mall. Uh, I didn't see any construction going on any of the places. Still trying to see exactly where Texas Roadhouse and T Talianis is going. Uh, I believe they're going on the second floor. You got El Paso uh, Mexican restaurant there. And it's on the same floor as TGI Friday. So I think that's where they're going. But if once I find out for sure where I can post it on another video. Another thing I want to point out is McDonald's and Barretto is opening up this Thursday, the 28th. They put push the bait, uh, the date back a couple times, but I'm pretty sure they're opening this Thursday. I'm gonna try to get over there, do some video of that and some other things uh, since I plan on being in Barretto on Thursday, which is tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll bring you what I can. Thanks for watching. I've got some upcoming videos from Brill Street, more from Malangapo. I'm going to try to show you some more housing areas or where you know you possibly uh, could get a place. Uh, so all that's coming your way. But I really thank you for watching. Take care always. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you like my videos. Take care. Hey, please like, like, share, like, and share, like, and share, like, share, and subscribe, share, and subscribe, share, and subscribe.